Oh, it better be light. Oh, yeah. So here I just sped up the video a little bit because we just went over what we had to do for that day. Uh, came up with a bit of a game plan, and uh, and then yeah, and then we're about to get going. So uh, hope you enjoy the video. Let's get cooking. Well, you can walk across the beam. Hold my beer. Just kidding. <laughs> I'll do it though. This thing's solid. What are you afraid of? Oh, what do you mean? It's it's tied it. What are you tied it? It's tied in over there and here. It's not gonna go anywhere. Now the question is... No. Going right down there. We're good, Ron. We're good. We're good. 71. No more, no less. Oh, my coffee. What'd you do? 71, right? Oh, it's 79, no? 71. I only said it like three times though. <laughs> What'd you say? Is it too big? It's perfect. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's how I like it. I like them tight. I like them tight like I wouldn't. How are we laying this out? Well, it just has to be, we're gonna do everything. Like for example, you could start from there. So measure exactly, measure exactly what you have from the steel over there. Yeah. And then lay that out there on that first one. Yeah. We can even drop that one in first, so you can use that as your. Okay. So I'll pass you. Go on the ground there. I'm just gonna crown these. I'm Friday night. These are easier to manage. These are easier to manage. What, sorry, which edge did you measure to? Did you measure to the bottom or the top? Measure to the bottom, because that's what's fixed. Top is not. Forty. Go outside edge though. Because that's where we're putting the. Yeah. So what is that? Forty-three and three quarter. 43 three quarter. And you're from the wood or the steel? Uh, go from the steel because it's more fixed, it's more uh, accurate. 43, 5, 8. Okay. So I'm gonna use this silence as a quick opportunity to explain what's going on. So it's a heritage home. We decided to, to replace the floor. And here we just put a temp beam up because the concrete slab wasn't gonna be poured for a couple days. Um, yeah, so we can do this, put the subfloor on and start uh, framing the walls above. We just added another 10 years to their house. We just added another 10 years to their house. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'd say go crazy. He looks pretty like, just keep an eye on this gap, right? If it looks a little small, fix it. You know it doesn't have a fucking power. Well, that's five amps. Pop and nail He's what? A roofer. Yeah. And he just goes on and on like fucking like this is the dumbest thing. Like what? Like, what? Just a lot of Is he like a funny guy or like a Yeah, no, it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> huh? He's like some fatal felon or he doesn't do that. It's like no no no. One, but it leaves the line. Like, look how much quicker this way is. So this day we didn't have a miter saw on us to cut the blocking. Usually we'll set up a stop, cut three, four at a time, and it's super quick. Here I just measured 14 and 7 sixteens and uh, 28 and 7 eighths. And uh, yeah, flush up the ends and just start cutting. And then it leaves a line for the next one and the next one and so on. And pretty quick way of doing it. Should be in the belt.
pretty much all I could film that day. Um, I hope if you're getting into carpentry, uh, this kind of gives you a good idea of what to expect. And if you are already in carpentry, I hope it was a source of entertainment for you. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.